Uh, 815 is the frontline squadron for the Wildcat HMA2 attack helicopter. Um, we have two squadrons, 825, which provides training for all new air crew and engineers that come through. And once they're trained, they come to 815, where we have a variety of tasks we use the aircraft for, all of it operational facing. Whether that's a small ship's flight being based on the ship at sea, or it could be for maritime counter-terrorism in the UK or UK dependent territories, or it could be for any other operational task the Navy requires of us, 815 is the one that we provide it. We can be embarked in the carrier itself, if that's what the carrier strike group require of us, but more commonly we'll be on one of the escort frigates or destroyers as a smaller aircraft that will be looking up ahead of the threat of the force uh, to see if there's anything that's of use for the carrier strike to know about. Well, in terms of the smallest in UK ships we've got is probably our Batch 2 River Patrol floats. Uh, they have a small flight deck on the back, which Wildcats and I believe 815 were the first squadron to trial a RN asset landing on those, those ships. Um, unfortunately, because they haven't got the hangar, we wouldn't embark for a prolonged period of time because of the engineering maintenance, etc. So for us, it's usually frigates and destroyers that were embarked. So we've got two types of missile on the aircraft. There's the Martlet light fast GW weapon and the Sea Venom heavy fast GW weapon. Um, Martlet is designed for small surface contacts, jet skis, small attack boats, that sort of thing, or could cause damage to larger contacts. But it's initially designed when it, we've, where we've got the missile from as an anti-air weapon, so we can also use it to engage um, slower flying air targets as well with the aircraft, which is an excellent capability to have. The Sea Venom, the larger weapon, that's designed to take out larger service combatants, corvettes, frigates, uh, etc., or cause damage to even larger ships um, at further range with a heavier payload. We're very lucky on the Wildcat, it has so many capable sensors, so we don't necessarily require all of them at once, but we've got that variety depending on the situation. Sometimes we want to look at things at a long distance, so we can go up high, use the radar, detect where it is, or we want to record stuff, maybe a boarding operation, where we want to look at the detail of what's happening on board, get close in, and we can use our very capable camera to record that as it's occurring for the um, boarding teams as they embark, or looking at what's on the vessel beforehand. So there's huge variety that we can offer. pilot is the person controlling the aircraft with the sticks, um, actually our taxi driver that takes us around as we require. The observer does all the military uh, applications of the aircraft, so we control the radar, the camera, um, the lasers, the electronic support measures or ESM as we describe them there. We control the weapons for the aircraft and also we can get out of the front left hand seat of the aircraft into the back and we can manage the winching and load lifting to the aircraft as well. Um, so all of the military aspects tends to fall on our shoulders is a team with the pilot who will be controlling the aircraft as we require it. I've been very fortunate in 2021, my first deployment was on the carrier strike group um, op on Operation Fortis, so I got to go out through the Mediterranean, down to Southeast Asia, um, particularly operating uh, near Singapore and our allies out there, uh, and then into uh, the Indian Ocean on the return back as well. More recently, I deployed on HMS Duncan uh, on uh, SNMG2, which is the Sandy NATO Maritime Group 2 that operates in the Mediterranean, um, and that was working with allied nations in order to conduct security operations and integration of NATO asset training in the Mediterranean. Um, we were deployed uh, as the uh, 7th of October attacks occurred uh, in Israel and Gaza, uh, which meant that SNMG2's mission was in support of providing that security for the eastern Mediterranean uh, and just being prepared for any task that required, so we got to observe what was going on during that time as well.